Now the head coach, Kimby, who's here in his fourth season leading the Blazers, as many of you know, he came here after spending 12 seasons at Ole Miss, where he was a two-time SEC Coach of the Year. Now, these two teams have never played each other, but Coach Kennedy did go against Drake when Ole Miss played them back in 2011, and they did get the win over the Bulldogs then. So let's get this one underway, folks. Davis had the ball knocked out of his hands on the low block, so now Drake on offense for the first time. And we'll look at the uh, Drake starting five. They lose Connor Enright, but they get back. The coach's son, Tucker DeVries, their best player. Turnover. Bulldogs. Well, this is going to be the battle of defense. Whoever can get stops and defend better is going to win. We take a look at the UAB lineup, and we talked about JV on Davis in the middle. He's going to have to come up big, but UAB is not going to be able to go high 80s, low 90s and try to win this game against Drake. It's got to be one of those sloppy 55 51 type games i think if you're the blazers you want to make it that type of game especially on the road typically teams don't shoot the basketball as well on the road you want to make it ugly grimy get it, give your fans an opportunity to get involved and make it tough for this 11 and 1 drake team now i've got a stat i've got to get rid of it now under coach devries drake is an amazing 59 and 1 when they score 80 or more points that's why for UAB, they want to muck this thing up, make it look as ugly as possible. Good defense on DeVries, and DeVries on the backdoor cut, slams it home. At that time, we see Brody getting involved with his first assist, and DeVries doing what he does best, scoring the basketball, catching UAB in a situation where no one was there on the weak side to defend. Gaines. Now a three, Butter Johnson, swish. And that's a really good sign if you're Butter Johnson. UAB has struggled mightily from three-point land this season. Butter Johnson there coming off a little baseline screen, getting his first points of the, eight, the afternoon. Shooting 40% from behind the arc. Johnson gives UAB a one-point early lead, long one from DeVries. Darnell Brody keeps this possession alive. Back to DeVries, who missed last game against Alcorn State. Two Blazers defending, and then just a drop-off pass and an easy bucket for Brody. And that time, we saw a little urgency from both Blazer defenders there reacting to the driving Drake Bulldog, but that time a little too much help left Brody free. Johnson wants two. Butter doesn't need a rim today. And Butter Johnson, two for two. I like the aggressiveness early. From the UAB guard, Javian Davis is their best interior player. They typically play through him. Today, Brody matched up with Davis. Don't know if we'll see a ton of double teams from Drake. Don't know if they'll need it. Over 10. Drawing Johnson on the defense with the left hand. Rebound Johnson and the Blazers. UAB by one early. Three minutes gone by. Very, very important matchup come March. These two teams are... Forecasted to be in the top three in their conference. Missouri Valley for Drake. American Athletic for UAB. Colby Garland with a miss. Tony, Tony. Lendeborg, that's a three or two rather, does not go. These two teams both feeling each other out. We see a three-point shot by Lindeberg. Hasn't taken a ton of threes this season. Hasn't taken a ton of perimeter jump shots. Bulldogs defense daring him to shoot it. Davis. Now that's more comfortable for Lindeborg in that zone, but he passes it right to the hands of Atten Wright. Atten Wright with a steal and a basket. And that right there playing the passing lane. We see the late double happening for the Drake Bulldogs. Basketball goes inside to Javion Davis or Lindenberg. They allow them to dribble a couple of times, and then they come and double from the top. That time, right able to read the lane and steal it for the easy layup. Javion Davis, by the way, did not foul. Surrender the layup, said he lived to play another defensive possession. Yaxel Lindenberg with two points.
I think the two big guys could cancel each other out, Davis and Brody. And then next in line would be Lindeborg and DeVries. Which one of those have a better game? That's at and right. And Lindeborg draws DeVries. Fade away. And that's a tough finish right there over a pretty good defender. DeVries had no rush. Saw Yaxel Lindeborg closing out on him and attacked him. Drove him right to where he wanted to. And was able to fade away from the jump shot. Eric Gaines. But a Johnson. And a bounds off of UAB. And that's the second time they try to get Davis on the low block. Dre, director of player development. But when he was here in the green and gold, he had 97 starts for the Blazers during the 2015-2016 season. He averaged 8.9 points per game. He was a part of that team that beat Iowa State in the NCAA tournament. And guys, he still has connections to UAB because his dad, Randy Norton, leads the women's basketball team. I've actually texted Coach Norton to see if he's in the house today. They're back from their time up in Philly, and we'll try to talk with him during the second half. Colby Garland went back to her mode. That back door's been open three times already this afternoon with six minutes gone by. Well, it's going to be open until the Blazers decide to focus in on their weak side help defense. Drake taking advantage of a wide open rim. And here we've seen two backdoor cuts, and <laughs> surprisingly, Brody is the guy who's been assist has assisted on both of those cuts. Great interior pass from him. Three Blazers were forming a triangle within just a couple of feet of each other, and Brody shows a little baby hook. Drake by five. And Bro Brody is a physical, physical young man. As we saw him, just shook his head after he jumped over Lindeborg there with the little jump hook shook his head as if to say Lindeborg has no chance down there physical physical player Eric Gaines trying to create something with seven seconds to shoot launches a three Rebound by Darnell Brody Brody averaging seven and a half boards per game Not a ton of ball pressure from the Blazers. Drake Bulldogs able to move the basketball pretty freely, pretty easily. Another backdoor cut. This time, Gaines was there as Overton knocked it out of bounds. That time, Eric Gaines alert. Alert to the backdoor cut. Maybe remembering some of the scouting report. And Brody, he's a, a very capable passer. Does a really good job of playing off of his teammates, not necessarily trying to look to score every time he touches it around the, the painted area. I talked with the Drake radio guys Mo, prior to the game, and they told me that is Brody's game. He is not a bruiser, and he's an excellent passer for a big man. Lendeborg, he's in traffic. There are three Bulldogs there, and he's still able to muscle one home. He's able to muscle that one home. In part there, maybe Brody both We've seen J.B. and Davis decide not to take a foul. Brody there wisely not fouling there. Lindenburg squeezes between two Bulldogs for, for the tough finish. DeVries faked the three. Off of Brody. DeVries picks up loose change. Back iron. Vasquez for UAB. Vasquez, an open three from the wing. Right there, Javion Davis did a good job of getting the ball out of his hands quickly before the double could really come. Vasquez got to, has to find a way to knock down that shot. At DeVries and Davis as Lindeborg switches. Vasquez. Brody. Brody there taking his time, no rush because he knows he has the strength advantage there. And I'm sure he's quite aware of the lack of depth from UAB big men. Lindeborg, as well as Javion Davis, can't afford to get in early foul trouble. Touch foul on Kevin Overton. 
Second timeout from Bartow. Yeah, Kurt, AK with that historic 350th win. Have to say the 350th. After that win against Montevallo, now that puts him in elite company. He's now one of 48 active coaches with that number of wins at the D1 level. His players, they felt so proud of him. JV and Davis being one of them. He said he is so grateful to be a part of Coach Kennedy's journey. And he said there is a lot more to come from one of the best coaches in the business. He has kept the Bartow name alive. Tradition, here comes Davis. Let's see what he can do. Well, the ref, the the uh, officials rather, uh, the judges give that a four. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're used to seeing Eric Gaines we're to see on Gaines. the break and in transition, flying around in here. You know, anything that anyone else does is going to seem, you know, not as spectacular. Well, let me ask you a question, Mo. Does it count still? It, it counts. Okay, just want to make sure. Dunk is a dunk is a dunk. Players just have tied it. DeVries. And in the paint. And there, I, I'm not really sure where Daniel Ortiz was, but absolutely alone there. Garland found himself with not a blazer within two feet of him. Butter Johnson, five early points. Looking for three more. Got him. And that's a really good job, Butter Johnson there. Recognizing his defender going underneath the screen. Javian Davis recognizes it as well and decides to screen down. Butter steps behind it and knocks it down. 18 total made threes this year for Butter Johnson. It's one of those ticky tacky fouls on Davis. And it's just not a smart foul because Brody is 24 feet from the rim. But I ask you, Mo, was it a foul? You look at Ortiz squared up with a three. And Davis by himself. I guess what you're saying to me, it's unnecessary, whether it was or wasn't. It's unnecessary, and I think Javian Davis knows as well as anyone here today how important he is to UAB's offense, to their defense. He ha he can't afford to come out of the game in such a tight game against such a great opponent. He can't afford to get a, a tic-tac foul there. Chris Coleman is in for Davis. Overton, three. Overton leads Drake in three-pointers made with 25. He's got one more than Tucker DeVries. Ortiz steps in and bangs home the three. And I think Ortiz has finally started to find his footing offensively. He's a guy that comes into, into games to score. That is his job. Had done a great job of it the first few parts of the season. Last couple of games, he's starting to play with Tons more confidence. But if he wants to extend his minutes, this is the end that he's got to do well on, Mo. Well, he has to make some shots, but he has to definitely not give up points here, as we saw him do a couple of possessions ago. Five to shoot for the Bulldogs. Lenderborg kept his position. What a wonderful job by Kobe Garland. And Kobe Garland there did a really good job of continuing to play. Recognize that Lenderborg was not going to pick up a foul. Lenderborg did a was focused on staying vertical, challenging the shot, forcing him to shoot over the top of him. It was Carlos Rosario, my bad on that. Vasquez draws a whistle. And if you're the Blazers here with eight minutes left in the first half, no Brody on the floor. You have to look for opportunities to attack the rim and also play through your interior guys. You see Vasquez here splitting the double team drawing the contact from Ferguson. Nate Ferguson picks up his first. Two shots coming up for Alejandro Vasquez. Now Vasquez is one of the better UAB free throw shooters, 86% coming in. And he does a good job of getting to the line as well. He forces contact around the rim, doesn't settle for jump shots, looks to attack, looks to get to that foul line. Deadlocks. Okay. Good blackjack score up there, 21 apiece. <laughs> Remember that mark again for Drake. They get to 80. They've lost just once under Darren DeVries. Yeah. 
UAB playing good defense that time. Here comes Ortiz. Waiting for Davis. Gaines has not scored yet. Low block, Davis. Missed the baby hook. And that's one of the few times he's going to touch it today where there's no double coming. That time he was able to attack quickly enough to prevent the double. Has to find a way to connect and score. Overton had the strong drive, but UAB got a hand on it. And then Vasquez on the run. And Drake runs into Alejandro Vasquez. It's there because of a rare Drake turnover. Well, the Drake turnover compounded by a foul in transition. And so A.J. Vasquez looking to get himself going offensively by taking a trip to the foul line. As we mentioned he's UAB's best foul shooter, best free throw shooter. Grew up in Queens, New York. Went to the Patrick School in New Jersey. Same high school that produced Jordan Jelly Walker. Blazers by two. There's a little pressure, Mo. And you like having Coleman as part of that pressure, right? Because you got a lot of yeah. size. I love Coleman at the top of that zone press from the UAB. Such length and athleticism. Does a good job of making it difficult to pass the ball over the top of him. Active hands. We see him try to challenge a long three. UAB's defense set up that miss. Vasquez. Coming away with it is Drake and Nate Ferguson. DeVries steps into an open three. And that's a good decision by Wright there, drawing the Blazer defender with the pump fake, finding DeVries, who was trailing, who's able to step into it, left, right, right up into his rhythm. Coach's son this last game against Alcorn State with a shoulder issue. Ortiz is off. Bulldogs with a rebound. I think if you're the Blazers, that's the three you don't want Ortiz taking. He's done a really good job of getting his offense going in the right direction. There's a mismatch inside, but now they are able to switch. Rosario. DeVries doesn't stop moving. He continues to move without the basketball. Garland, mid-range, yes. Kobe Garland with six points. That time UAB so focused on the roll guy there. Ferguson diving to the rim. Gaines answers. His first two. Harry Gaines very quiet so far this first half. Only a couple of shot attempts. That's an open three for Atten. It's a late rotation, and it's a lackluster effort on the defensive rebound by the Blazers. And they possibly give up here a three from DeVries. Got it. And that possession was doomed essentially 10 seconds prior to that shot happening with the late rotation from Ortiz and the, no ro the non-rotation from Vasquez there. And then the defensive rebounding effort that's enough to drive any coach crazy there on that possession. Gaines will shoot a one-footed three that does not go in. And the last two three-point attempts from UAB have been challenged three-point shots. Not in rhythm. And at right keeps this alive for a two. And then underneath and put back up and in by Ferguson. Andy Kennedy furious. He said it's Drake's best player. The junior is the coach's son. He's the reigning Missouri Valley Conference Player of the Year. When he went to high school in Iowa, he was named Mr. Basketball. Also during his freshman year at Drake, he was the conference freshman of the year. He is just in rare company, really, in the Drake history. Just one of three players in the Bulldog history to have two 500-plus scoring seasons in his career, and he still has an extra year of eligibility left. Just such a playmaker for this squad. Missed the last game with a shoulder injury. You can see the tape that he's got on that shoulder. Give and go. Big man put it on the floor. Picked up by Butta Johnson. 
all the way for Gaines. She gets hit and fouled from behind. Next time coming out of the timeout, we see the defensive pressure from the Drake Bulldogs. Guards are trailing, shooters, and last second shooting over the top of screens. As you see Eric Gaines slide to the paint, slide in the lane there and gets a little contact. But even on that drive, UAB just hasn't been aggressive when attacking the basket. And Drake, they've amped up the defensive pressure on the perimeter, around the rim, everywhere. Both teams make lineup changes. Gaines has struggled at the line all year. Just a 63% free throw shooter. Three and a half remaining. Opening half. About that match up there. Tony Tony against DeVries. A weak side help there. Butter Johnson almost came away with the steal. But even on that possession there, maybe we'll get a second look. There's essentially a wide open lane here. There's no one here on the back side. If Butter Johnson is not able to do that, it's a layup. No Blazer even has his eyes on the basketball on that position from that particular possession. And Wright takes advantage of it. Hatton Wright, 88% free throw shooter. Played three years at Cal State Northridge, two years as a starter. So he brings some experience to the Midwest. Gaines contested two. <laughs> and that's the toughest two you'll see made today as Drake comes right back. When teams push the basketball on makes and they're able to score on makes two on one, that just talks, that tells you about your effort getting back. Blazers, they're relaxed. Now the veteran Tony Tony goes to the rim. Bowen score, uh, scores a pair of points. And again, he's giving up five inches defensively. That's 6-2 versus 6-7. And now wide open DeVries and reverses one home. And that time there's a miscommunication there on the Blazers as we saw Tony Tony looking to switch. Saw DeVries about to attack and cut to the rim. Didn't want to get, did not want to get sealed down there on the, or in the paint with a guy with five inches of height advantage on him. But the Blazers weren't able to communicate effectively. Davis wants that ball inside, off balance from Gaines. Lendeborg. And that may be the first offensive rebound for the Blazers today. Nice feed from Butta. And Javion Davis had two points waiting for him at the rim. I think that time Brody pulled away from the basket. Javian Davis able to slip. Butter Johnson doing a good job of finding him on the short roll here. And I think if you're the Blazers, you have to look for opportunities to attack the rim whenever Brody's not around the painted area. I don't know that that's going to happen a ton with post feed simply because of the double teams. But for the Blazers, They've got to find a solution here on the defensive end as well. That's the, the plaguing problem now, just their energy or lack thereof on the defensive end. Which I talked about in the first 30 seconds of this game. Got to be, if UAB is going to win this game, they've got to win it on defense. Davis with four points. Five-point lead for these Drake Bulldogs. Picked near the top three in the Missouri Valley. UAB opened up with Bradley, another Missouri Valley foe. It's a dangerous pass. Well, I was about to say, Lindeborg, <laughs> luckily he's got long arms. Inspector gadget type arms for Lendeborg, otherwise you and I are eating that basket. <laughs> I mean that was right in our zone. Javian Davis, no double coming. Brody possibly doesn't require it, but that time Javian Davis able to force DeVries into helping a little bit.
Javian, 72% free throw shooter coming in. Two for two a moment ago. Also coming off his career best 22 points against Montevallo. As you mentioned, a team that's been playing as well as the Drake Bulldogs have been playing so far this season. And with UAB having their struggles this season, especially here at home, you've got to find a way to make the free throws. You're not going to get a ton of opportunities. You're not going to get a ton of clean looks. You're not going to get a ton of easy basket opportunities from good teams, good teams that are connected defensively. They're just not giving that up. Colby Garland has had a good first half, as has DeVries. Tony, Tony. By himself, too hard. Not a complete spin move by Garland, but he was on spin cycle, and now but a Johnson, I believe, will pick up the foul. Or it's going to be on Gaines. It's a cheap one for Gaines, and Gaines felt like he got away with it or could have gotten away with it. As we see him just slap, you know, just at the end. And, you know, as a player, you don't want it to be called or get you because it doesn't really affect the outcome of the play. Under one minute remaining, and Davis sends that return to sender there. That was a tough angle. They were trying to get it into Brody right there on the... That left block, very tough angle there. So Brody does get the inbounds. Now Garland, far side, we got a whistle. Stoppage of play. That'll be on Davis, his second. I would think Andy Kennedy will take him out for the last 46 seconds. Yep. Here comes Chris Coleman. don't want to run the risk of picking up your third foul here with 46 seconds left in the first half. Only a four-point game. Tons of time, of course. Obviously, you know, that foul is going to be important to have later on this, in this ball game. Off balance three won't go. Brody pushes off and says, not me. <laughs> He has a, a bewildered look on his face. Like say, There's no way I fouled at that time. That's a man right there. 6'10", 275, grad student from Newark, New Jersey. And a little bit of a, an acting job by Linda Bork there, but whenever your hand's in that position and that opposing player flies in that direction, it's going to look like a push. 67% at the line for Lendeborg. Five points and a half. Two-time junior uh, Juco All-American at Arizona Western. Remember, he signed with St. John's, but when St. John's fired Mike Anderson, former UAB coach, he decided to come here. And Jackson Lindeborg, a talented young man. He's still figuring out just how much ability he has and just how much impact he can have on the game. Two-point game, 30 seconds to go. Crowd amps up. Seven-second differential. Look at DeVries drawing up the play. DeVries, no, DeVries rush, rather. no rush at all. He understands exactly what's supposed to happen. He's pushing off, but a Johnson misses. Time to shoot. Tony at two, draws a foul. But DeVries, though, he is, he's ice cold on the floor, isn't he? I love the patience. I love watching guys that are able to, to get to their spots. You know, DeVries doesn't wow you in terms of his athleticism like a Tony Tony as we see him head toward the basket and get to the foul line here. But he does a really good job of just playing within himself. He understands how, how to play, understands how to move without the basketball. And those guys are always able to play a lot longer than the guy who can jump over a house. He was actually directing the offense with his fingers. You could see that he was looking. His eyes were up. 
and he's taking his index finger and saying, you get over there, you get over there. Because he knows that he's gonna that he's gonna head over here in a few seconds and he wants you out of the way. 2.2 and a tie game at Bartow. Garland launches. Well, whoa, a rim job in it. In this half, the Drake Bulldogs dressed in their blue and white. They will be going from TV right to left. It'll be Garland and now DeVries. And you may be starting with Yaxel Lindeborg on DeVries here. A bigger body. We saw Tony Tony late in the first half against DeVries. Turn around. Good. Darnell Brody. Nice touch in the paint for Brody. And Darnell Brody, we talk about his physicality, but he has some finesse around that rim as well. Tony, Tony steps right into a three. And right there, the Blazers taking advantage of the gamble from the Bulldogs defensively. Tony, Tony knocking down the three ball. All right, Lyndon Blake actually had a chance, uh, besides that interview, to talk with Darren DeVries coming out of the break. What did he have to say? Yes, E.B. Well, I think we know exactly what he was talking about when he said he loved how they played in those few possessions around the five to eight minute mark there left in the first half when they really went on a little run there. But he said in the second half, he really wants to amp up the defense. They can score more in transition. He says that's how they win ball games. Brody inside, same shot, this time a miss. Gaines, pretty good rebounder, picks up the board. It's Davis on the low block. Gaines has a wide open straightaway three. And those are the looks that you're only going to get a few of every game if you're Eric Gaines because he's going to draw so much attention. He's got to find a way to stick one or two of them. At right, Garland's three rebounded and put back up and in. No one boxed out DeVries. And DeVries, and that offensive rebound is essentially a byproduct of his moving without the basketball in constant movement. That time, Tony Tony wasn't able to put a body on him. That was off of UAB's Davis, so it will be Drake Ball after the turnover. We, have, we, we gave a stat earlier. It's incredible that Drake has watched their opponents turn the ball over more than they have every single game. It's continuing right now. Turnovers at 8-6. Open miss, but a second chance, and then stolen. And Tony, that, Tony, one on three. And that was a missed opportunity there for Brody right around the rim. Had caught it with no one around him, short arm to short layup. But a Johnson came out firing. Davis muscles inside for two. And I think if you're UAB, you have to look for opportunities to get the ball inside that prevent Drake from doubling Lindeborg or Davis. And that time, Davis in the short corner was able to catch it and rip baseline there and get inside of Brody. Right. Trying to spin on Butter Johnson. Uses the glass. Adding right with six. And Adding right. Sort of a control chaos. He looked to be a little bit out of control, driving wildly a little bit. You saw Butter Johnson give ground, trying to protect himself there. But it all seemed to be a little bit of a, a ploy by Adden to get his shot off. We'll see the last two baskets. Davis, the head fake, and then the basket. Eric Gaines with his sixth point of the afternoon. That was a late foul, by the way. Charge to Colby Garland. Ball was out of his hands, out of Gaines's hands. 
And a split second later, the whistle came. And I think maybe that time just didn't blow his whistle on time, knew it was a foul, knew, it was, knew he was going to call it. And it happens. UAB by one. His, Six to shoot. In the zone, better find DeVries there. That time, Eric Gaines able to beat him to the spot. He's so good at that. Second on DeVries. Wait, Eric dove about 12 feet, didn't he, after that? <laughs> Might have embellished just a tad. Here's Butter. If I'm UAB, whoever DeVries is guarding on this possession, I try to get that basketball to them. John L. Brody situation. Each team now with eight. Well, and, with, and that offensive foul by DeVries did not help Drake. Well, I think if you're UAB, you've got to know that, hey, they're not going to turn the basketball over, so you have to make sure that you take advantage of your open shot opportunities, and you can't go and force a turnover there or create a turnover there trying to force a pass inside to a player who's not open. Right on cue, no less. Ferguson with the steal. Lendeborg cut off DeVries there. You see, that's where the pass was intended to go. Right. The shot was deflected. DeVries... Winds up with the ball five seconds on the shot clock in UAB with what we call the bailout foul. It's the second on Butter. And we're going to get a foul on Butter Johnson here. He's so far away from the basketball, I'm not even sure what made him foul there. I think maybe trying to defend the cut. UAB cut to shreds on backdoor cuts and weak side ball cuts the first half done a good job so far the first few minutes of this half not giving up any backdoor cuts Ferguson flings it towards the goal to give the Bulldogs a one-point lead I think you have to look for a way to get it to Javian Davis with Ferguson on him and they put up a good fight in the paint Davis gets out making sure that he doesn't get called for three seconds Gaines with seven to shoot, backs it up. Tony, Tony for the home run. Got it. That time, Eric Gaines taking his time. Knew the shot clock was winding down. Freezing the defense, holding him with his eyes. Able to flick it to Tony, Tony in the corner for an open three. And off to Garland. Couple of big guys for UAB coming up to challenge, and he just blows by everybody. And that time, Garland did a really good job of essentially forcing Coleman into Davis. They, UAB Blazers basically screened each other there. Gaines needs help. But a Johnson. And then Coleman keeps the possession alive. 20 more seconds for UAB now. Coleman. No foul called, and the basket is good. And that's a good low call there. I thought DeVries was in good position, but you could tell he sort of kind of flopped into it. I don't want to say flop, but that time didn't really take it. And we've already seen DeVries as a strong physical guy. No way Christian Colvin knocks him down with such a, you know, such an attack there. Gains on Garland. DeVries off the curl. Fake three, shoots the three. Blazers get lucky there because Tony Tony had lost DeVries. He was so focused on protecting the middle. DeVries continuing to move without the basketball. But if Johnson gets fouled, it'll be on that and right. That corner three off the square, and then 
Garland beats everybody to the rim. Off balance gains. Coleman. Yes, on the reverse. Time Coleman in the perfect rebounding position there. Able to tap that ball to himself. So even though it's the holiday season, Walmart. For two years, he played basketball in his free time. He grew. I don't know what he was buying at Walmart, but he grew to be six. Nine, and that's when he got his opportunity to play college ball, and he has worked his way up through the levels, now landing here at UAB. And you can see how much joy and passion he plays with. It is evident that he is just a true lover of this game. Mo has stated many times he doesn't know how good he can be. Garland off balance at the buzzer. Shot clock violation. UAB a little mini run right here. We've not talked one second about these sharp UAB threads, by the way, Mo. <laughs> I know you didn't wear those. No, they did not allow us to wear black. Not at home. Coleman got it from distance. That time DeVries deciding to hang back in the paint with Yaxel Lindeberg around. Christian Coleman not known as a jump shooter. They're taking advantage of an open jump shot. And as you mentioned, he doesn't realize how good he could be. You know, you think about if you've been a certain size your whole life, you got to kind of grow into your body a little bit and grow into your skills. That typically happens around puberty. But for him, it happened so late. He's still getting used to it, I would oh, imagine. On cue, Mo, uh, Mo with a snuff, with a, with a rejection. DeVries, DeVries rather, had a three missed. Right on cue, Coleman with that block. What action we've had today. Garland fouled by Coleman. Got him in the air. Free throws coming for Garland. Her really quick, just want to give an update on Coleman. I just asked the trainer, and they said he's fine. He just got hit in his side. So nothing, nothing serious there. He's just going to shake it off and hopefully get back in the game. And Garland makes this a four-point game. And if you're Drake, that's just what you needed. A trip to the foul line there to kind of slow the UAB momentum offensively. You may be able to put together a really good stretch on the offensive end. Crowd is into it as well. Lenderborg. Circus time. And that time Brody even was surprised at Lenderborg's ability to flip that ball up and in. He ran right into the brick wall that is Darnell Brody. Still able to focus on the rim and put it in. Brody, nice pass. Empty possession, however, for the Drake Bulldogs. DeVries, by the way, not on the floor, Mo. There's Davis. And that time Eric Gaines, he has to come in closer. He's no threat to score there. The double is coming. He's going to be open, but if he's standing 35 feet away, it doesn't matter. Davis just flings it towards the basket, hoping for a wing and a prayer. Rebound by Drake. At and right. Had a big game last time out against Alcorn from distance. Turns down a three. Garland almost traveled. And it will be a turnover anyway. And I think that time he expected the official to call a travel. And possibly his teammate there in the corner was coming up the floor. Expected him to still be there. We said, well, it's probably a travel. Go ahead and get back on D. Former UAB center and now playing with the squadron, Trey Jemison, along with Lyndon Blake. Lyndon? Hey, yeah, I've been pretty good company up here. I got uh, Brooks Finley, Little Mo on my left, and big old Trey Jemison here on my right. Welcome home. Thank you. Thank you. So glad to be home. I mean, they call you the mayor because you did your work here at UAB. Now you're doing the work for the squadron. Six games straight, scoring double digits, man. How are you finding success at the G League level? Just trusting the work. I've been working my tail off all summer. I'm just trying to be faithful and hate. I just being me, and it's coming to me naturally now. You started such a, 
I want to say like hype train here in Bartow Arena with Ransom, the last game we mentioned to you because they were here in full force. You're still involved with them. You left such a legacy here at UAB, but I know you always say your work is not done. Facts. You know, the goal is always to come through and change the whole entire environment. Or even better than you left. I feel like I did that. I'm still trying to make it better each and every day. What's been the best part about playing here in Birmingham in the professional G League? I've just seen the whole story. You know, I played high school basketball in Legacy. I played college games in Legacy. Now playing the pro is just full circle. It's been amazing. And that's why you're the mayor, Trey. Merry Christmas, and it is always good to see you, man. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Good to see you. Special player, special individual, Trey Jemison. Tony, Tony. Eric Gaines. DeVries, by the way, back in. That's before the shot. That time, that possession, UAB a little bit out of sorts offensively since the free throws from Drake by Garland a couple possessions ago. Been out of sync offensively. Andy Kennedy imploring his guys to calm down, relax. Eight minutes is a ton of time. There's no rush. Everyone's rushing trying to make something happen instead of doing the things that they did early in the second half to kind of get this four-point lead. Ortiz got knocked down, gets back up. Vasquez gets the screen, and here's the roll. Lendeborg again, hammers it home. He's a pretty unique player, Kurt. He's able to essentially cuff that ball into his chest, into his shooting pocket, and continue to maintain his balance. And with his length and athleticism, he's able to still flip it up. That's a three. Big one for Atten Wright. UAB leads by three, under eight. Major ramifications come March for this game, for the winner of this game. Lendeborg is hungry, and he gets fouled. And he's bailed out there. It's, it's absolutely too much dribbling for UAB on the path. Kevin Drake, 54. American Athletic Conference over the Missouri Valley Conference. Daniel Ortiz at the moment running the offense. Ian Vasquez in the backcourt with Eric Gaines on the bench, and then Vasquez lost it. That's one of those turnovers uh, that uh, Drake usually forces block. And then Atten Wright comes out of it. That's a great job by UAB getting back in transition, not giving up a layup. Blazers without a true point guard on the floor here struggling a little bit to get into something offensively i expect to see eric Gaines coming back in as we see him go to the scores table devries De rather goes down but a johnson picks up his third and Gaines will come back in and i think he has to he has you have to have someone on the floor who can get you into something offensively Without a ton of dribbling, Gaines does a, attacks the basket really well. He does he dribbles a lot, you know, too. But the difference is he's looking to try to create something for someone else, not just trying to create one for himself. DeVries gets Gaines in the air and then finishes with points 15 and 16. Now a one-point lead for UAB. That time DeVries being patient, knowing that Eric Gaines is athletic, wants to block shots, waits for him to come down. Coleman from about 16. Got it. And Coleman's going to have that opportunity to, this afternoon right around that foul line area. He's got to step in and shoot it with confidence that time Eric Gaines finds him. Eight points off the bench for Chris Coleman. I would think DeVries is going to get a whole lot of touches here down the stretch. Under six. Foul late to the spot was Daniel Ortiz. See the pump fake. Bucket for DeVries. And then Coleman right above the free throw line. 
Kyron Gibson. He's 10 for 10 this year at the free throw line. And now 11 for 11. He's not played a whole lot today. Nine minutes to this point, but these are big minutes. And he stays perfect. You got to feel like these next 540, the game is going to be sort of decided. And so, you know, for Gibson, obviously, hasn't played a ton, only averages 13 minutes on the season, but he's playing when it matters the most. But uh, might have been deflected, did not get the roll. And now Drake will shoot for the lead. Gaines is a tough defender. That's not right. He's got a little too cute. You're right, I love his game off the dribble. A little herky-jerky. Plays off balance. Plays almost out of control. And that time, he allowed Eric Gaines to slide his hand there and deflect it off his leg. Mo, well, the turnovers are 10-10. Inside Davis. On the second opportunity for... Davis, he scores. It's a board and a basket. And that time it was just a great interior feed from Butter Johnson. Now getting it to Davis in his spot. DeFries had his shot deflected. Gaines with the circus in town. Second chance, yes. Yep. Blazers played Missouri Valley Conference Bradley to open up the season. Bradley with the win here at Bartow. Blazers here going back to their zone. If you're, if you're UAB, you can't afford a late rotation here on a backside three-pointer. DeVries open. Passes instead at and right. Using his right hand as leverage. That's a veteran basket right there. See, that hand was used as leverage to get himself up in the air. Create a little space. That's his 11 point. Drove Butter Johnson right to the center of the lane. Four minute mark. There's a whistle prior to that shot. Xavier Davis, Davis could be averages 11.6 turnovers a game. They're under their season average so far. Still 355 left to play. And Drake is over their average of 9.8. So if you're the Blazers, you're in good position right now in terms of turnovers. Now, with the last 355, it remains to be seen which team can take better care of the basketball here a four-point game. Whichever team is able to do it probably has a chance to sneak out of here with a victory. Davis has reached double digits. Two possession game. Davis today, not the rebounding numbers that we're accustomed to seeing from him, but he has played extremely solid. At right, three ball rattles in. A lot of courage to take that shot. And right, as you mentioned, a veteran player not shying away from the moment. All the attention goes to DeVries, rightly so, as we see an unforced error there from UAB. So now the turnovers are even at 11 apiece. And here a miscommunication from the Blazers, too late. Adding right lets, lets it go. And we've got a two-point game. Notice who has the ball in his hands, the game on the line. That's DeVries, he gives it up to Brody. And now there's a switch inside with Eric Gaines on DeVries. This isn't the matchup you wanted for UAB, but Eric Gaines able to tap it away. No look. Foul on Drake. And you can see Eric Gaines waiting and probing, waiting for Brody to clear, for Coleman to clear underneath Brody there to throw it back behind him. That time Christian Coleman not able to get the, the roll. Pair of free throws coming for Chris Coleman. He has eight points on the afternoon. It's about three out of every four free throws that he makes, or takes, rather. This is 
two games in a row, we've seen Christian Coleman make a really, really solid contribution to the Blazers offensively and today defensively as well. You know, he hasn't had the rebounding numbers that we're accustomed to seeing him have. Only three today so far in 14 minutes. But four for four from the field, but 0 for 2 from the line. Drake could take the lead. Under three. Brody far away from the basket. Brody muscling with Davis, that baby hook. And the tap didn't go either. You know, you pull out of a hat, who's going to come out with the rebound? And it's Tony Tony, your veteran guy who just plays <laughs> both ends. A timeout will keep it here, but I'm up for grabs. I'm up to interpretation. I don't know. But a Johnson. No foul called. Davis rebounds. Davis gets fouled. And I'm wondering what's the rush right there, Butter Johnson, getting right into Brody's body. Does not get the foul call, but in all honesty, Butter Johnson was open early. Take the early open pull-up shot. Javian Davis bells him out there with a rebound, and he's able to go to the line. Foul was on Atten Wright, his third. Here's Javian Davis. Davis with the no arc free throw. No arc necessary. <laughs> we call it in baseball. That's a line drive base hit. <laughs> he's line driving him home. And you know what? He's done such a really good job. We talk all the time about the fantastic shape he's in. Uh, he's retooled his jump shot or his free throw shot mechanics. And he's making them at a high clip. He just made this a two possession game, by the way. DeVries and now Garland. Brody set a pick and then ran. Got to believe DeVries wants to take a three. Draws a lot of people towards the ball. And then a big rebound, Darnell Brody. Saw three Blazers collapse on DeVries. Well, that time, Javion Davis did his best to keep DeVries out of the paint. And with a player as talented as DeVries, he's going to find a way to get a shot attempt up that time. When you draw such a crowd, offensive rebounding is up for grabs. And that time, Brody, he's there. Nice friendly roll for Darnell Brody as he has nine points. He's also a good free throw shooter, 79%. I've been impressed with his ability to play defense without fouling. Brody has not been out of position much defensively. First parts of the game, they played through him, you know, using him as a passer, as a facilitator. But a Johnson will use glass. <laughs> Strong to the rim at right. 16 for right. And that's too easy. That time DeVries in the corner. No weak side help is even available because you can't leave DeVries. We're approaching one minute remaining. Tony is open near side, our side for a three. But a Johnson open. Here's a long one with one second to go. Does not go. Rebound with a Drake Bulldog down. No time. Just tough hustle there. From Garland, he seems to be okay. Slight push, 
slight push. You see the fan getting vertical there, trying not to get the foul called on him in the corner, sitting courtside. If you're UAB, you got to know this ball probably is going to touch DeVries' hands. Look for him to attack. Well, Mo, a three would put Drake in front. Well, you, you've got to force him, run him off the line, and force him to take a two-point jump shot. You can't give up a three. Big man Brody. How did he get that one in? He contorted and got it right underneath JV and Davis there. But if you're UAB, I think that isn't the worst thing that could have happened. 20 seconds remaining, and Andy Kennedy takes a timeout. We thought the first game of the year against Bradley was a game clock here, and Gibson helps off. Daniel Ortiz will have a chance to play the hero. Right against Gaines, midcourt, 10. He goes, kick out, Ortiz for the game winner, got it! Four seconds left to go, that could be it. Brody to have a clean look. You can't give up any clean look. Keep everything in front of you and force them. But that's a good option as well. You can also foul. You have to do what you practice. 2.2, maybe they will foul again, but you got to be careful if a guy decides to try to hoist a three-point shot as you're fouling him. Make look, sure he's on the floor. Look for 12. If he gets it, he gets it. He shoots for the tie. It is in. Will it count? Could not. That, that could win it in, in regulation. And that's prevent the three. Yeah, and it happens. I mean, it happens all the time. You know, you, you're you trying not to foul. You're trying to make the perfect play. And if you're DeVries, you have to feel good about it because Christian Coleman essentially backed away once he caught it. Now, if you're UAB, you have to, can't leave him wide open after that one. Well, he got that was a better look than the one that right. tied that, the that, game. That was an easier shot. You know, and the miscommunication on defense has plagued UAB, you know, throughout the season and, and occasionally today. You know, you can't allow any of those miscues to happen now. But a Johnson might have taken one more step, but it's like a foul instead. And if you're UAB, you have to look to do more of that. You're going to shoot free throws. You got, you're going to get to the line. You got to cash in. It's Gibson who picks up the foul, his second. But I had that little European slide step. Garland, who went out earlier near the end of regulation, back in and on the court. Good to see him back because he looked pretty shook up after he was checked out of that game. Landed Bork with a monster rebound for UAB. Two missed free throws. Davis. And I think if you're UAB, you have to try to find a way to get it to Javian Davis. Especially there out of that corner baseline pass. Brody doesn't seem to be willing to try to contest much. Fouls don't mean anything at this time in terms of personal fouls. You're in overtime already. At and right. Shot clock at six. Good look. Got it. Overton ties this game back up. Three and a half, first overtime. For a second there, I thought Eric Gaines had a chance to shoot the gap and steal that basketball from DeVries. Just a little late. DeVries, great job of finding the open guy. Three. Yes. That's his first made three all year. That's confidence right there, Kurt. To step into a game in overtime against a really good opponent, have not made a three all game all year, and to step in and make it. Games on the steal. Good decision. Good decision. Pull it out. Force Drake to guard you in the half court. 
Lendenborg had been 0 for 6 taking threes this year. Davis finding Lendenborg. Here's Butter for three. That would have been a five point overtime lead. Garland kept alive at and right. Keep your eye on 12. That's what Lendeborg is doing. Right. Butter Johnson on the foul. Butter Johnson looked to be in pretty good position. We won't get a replay, or maybe we will. I, I, on the initial, I couldn't tell if he bodied him a little bit. Either way, Wright has a chance here to cut it. Seventeen points for Atten Wright, Junior at. Hawthorne, California. And that time Butter Johnson comes across his chest right there to commit the foul. UAB in possession, plus one. What do you got out of this uh, Drake defense? Huh? What? I still love the ball pressure as we see Eric Gaines there. Davis chucked it up, hoping for a foul. Drake looking to shoot for the lead. Davis with the strip. Big man on big man. <laughs> I think that time Javion Davis essentially got his Got his lick back, so to speak. Wanted the foul here. And that time, Darnell Brody wasn't expecting Davis with the quick hands. Tony, Tony, three. In and out. I'm not sure if you're UAB, you should, shouldn't attack the rim a little bit here. DeVries. He's got the left side, but he goes right, shoots it. Spins in and out. And Blazers get extremely lucky that time. Javian Davis either had decided he wasn't going to switch or that's not the game plan to switch there with Lindeborg. As the timeout is taken, you and I are just feet away. A few of DeVries, Tucker DeVries, knocking in his 19th point to send this game into OT. Under a minute, Ortiz rises and scores. Three-point leads are not safe in this building. Look for 12 to get a hand on it. Instead, that's deflected by Gaines and deflected again and deflected again. Last one is going to be a foul. Last one is a foul there. UAB did a great job of blocking two shots within three feet of each other right there. At right, we see him attacking here at Gaines. Gaines gets the first block, and we see Lindeborg here with the second block. That time, it's so close, CB. It's hard to say that's a foul, but the issue is his body position where the referee, the official is behind him. And so chances are Lindeborg is making contact before he hits the ball. At and right, trying to make this a one-point. UAB lead. 41 seconds in overtime number one. I think if you're UAB, you don't need a quick shot. You don't need to take a challenge three. I think you can take your time here a little bit. Take care of the basketball. Look to attack. Look to turn the corner. Let Eric Gaines be Eric Gaines. About a nine-second differential. Ten on the shot clock. Off balance, and here come DeVry, DeVries, rather, and the Bulldogs with nine. That's at and right. At and right goes in, lobs it up, no good, and the rebound by UAB, and that will do it. On the perimeter, they guarded all three levels. 
rim protected with Brody. Great ball pressure. And today it looks like they'll come out of here with their second loss of the season. But a very, very good Drake team. 11 and 1 coming in, eight game winning streak. Now, real quickly, Mo, could you take this one and just throw it off the rim, throw it off the backboard? <laughs> You'll Why have not? With two, sec two tenths <laughs> of a second left. I, I would have put a body on DeVries. <laughs> DeVries, baby. You'll have to. Maybe he misses this one on purpose. On purpose. Exactly what he wanted. DeVries, game. UAB calls game. 